So, here I am again, under the floor. Brilliant, just where I wanted to be. Um, so today we're fitting an e-stop. Um, basically that's to, an, an e-stop is an emergency stop. So you just hit the button and it shuts down everything in case of an emergency. Um, yeah, but someone left the cable under the floor because they could not be asked to poke it up through the bottom of the floor. Um, so here I am, so I've got to do that. Then I'm going to show you what we, how we're going to build the uh, platform above. Well, not really a platform, but you know what I mean. Right, so we're back above ground, um, and I'll show you exactly where. If you have a look down here, that there is where the cable comes up through. We're going to go on the front of this, and we've got to make a little mount out of this stuff um, to fit the e-stop. Let me show you. So, this is said mount, um, just cut it out of, uh, I don't even know what this plastic's called, I couldn't even tell you, but um, right, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Right, I need to get this one flat, so what we do, bosh, take this drill, we've already drilled the holes through, um, now these, this is going to be um, mounting onto the bit of uni strut. So we need these holes and these these gutter bolts to sit flush with the surface of this mount. Otherwise, this is not going to fit on it. Do that. If you had the right size drill bit, you wouldn't need to do that last bit. Poke them through. Now, if that's not sitting flush flush, what you can do, spin that on, and then just twist it until it sinks in. Now, if you can see, flush. But the interesting thing about what we're doing here is the fact that actually, a lot of our time as industrial commercial sparks is, is spent fabricating, like making sure that you've built the frame, built the frame to hold the containment, build the containment, and then only a very small fraction of what we do is actually wiring it. Um, and as such, you can get very out of practice with wiring because you're doing so much containment. Kindly refer to ourselves as metal munchers. Now, I'll try and keep a balance because there's nothing more embarrassing than being thrown in the deep end, wiring a couple of circuits and forgetting how to do a bit of two-way switching using singles. It, and you know what? I'm not afraid to say it happens. Um, of course, it happens. As perfect as I might think I am, I'm not. To make this off, uh, we're going to go one uh, brown one in the top and black two in the bottom. But it's quite difficult to get them in. And then I realised it's actually on a din rail. Bosh! Come on. So you can make them off like that. That there is one a sexy e switch mounted on a custom back on a bit of uni. I mean, come on. <laughs> 